Hi, my name is Brandon Miller. For my experiment, I did how many aces can I draw over 78 trials. So for each trial, I use the same standard deck of cards and I shuffled cards like this, moving them around four, five, six times, and then I'd pick a card at random and then I'd document it and when in my Google Sheets. With that information, I made this graph. But before we get to that, um, I am investigating a probability that is known that probability is four over 52 because there are four aces um, and 52 cards total in a standard deck, hence the four over 52. I did 78 trials total because four over 52 is equivalent to six over 78. So over the course of my experiment, I should have drawn six aces. The reason that um, we do so many trials has to do with the law of large numbers, which states that as you do more and more trials, as the number of trials you do approaches infinity, your experimental um, and rel slash relative probability should approach the known probability. Okay, so let's look at my graph. This red line, it represents the known probability. I included that as like a guideline. The blue represents my experimental um, data. So I actually didn't draw an ace until the 42nd trial. Um, and then I drew them relatively close together, which was interesting. I actually drew uh, two aces in a row. Uh, that was the only card that I drew in a row. I had, I reached the desired probability twice here on the 52nd trial where I drew my fourth ace. And then on the 65th trial, I had drawn five aces at that point. Um, something that was also surprising, I didn't draw an equal number of the other types of cards. For example, queens, I didn't get a single queen. Twos and sixes, I had more than 10 for each of them. Um, so very skewed, but coincidentally, my data was good for aces. Um, I don't think there were enough trials. I did get close at some points. I think maybe if I had done twice the amount of trials, it would have looked a lot better. Um, I learned that, you know, it is true that over time it will converge, but there will be some points where you diverge and it looks like you're going all over the place. But as you can see here, it does come back to the um, desired probability. So I didn't discover the actual probability because I did draw seven aces instead of six, but I did come quite close. So I did do all of this by myself, so all credits to me. Thank you for watching. And now I'm going to include the final five trials of my experiment. So I'm not gonna film all of my trials. I'll just try to film like five of them. But what I do is I shuffle the cards every single time. I can't do the other form of shuffling where you have like the two piles like that. So I just do this um, until I feel like it's properly shuffled. Usually that's about five times. And then I draw and then I record it on a Google Sheets. Um, since I'm filming this one, I won't um, Fill it out. So here I got a eight of clubs. So then I put it back in and then I shuffle it all over again. Okay, so this next one, I'm gonna pick the top one, is a two of spades. So this next one, I'm gonna pick one towards the back, is four of diamonds. This next one is, I'm gonna pick one right in the middle. It's the 10 of diamonds. And then this is the last one that I'll do for the video since this has already gone on for two minutes. Back to shuffling after I dropped the cards. 
So this one is a five of clubs. So there are a few things I want to say to close. One, sources of error in my experiment. So um, my shuffling was certainly not perfect. Uh, there's a chance that cards were not moved in between trials. That could have affected the data. Um, the way that I picked cards. I'm a human, so I might prefer cards in the middle, maybe at the front, maybe at the back. That could have affected the data. Um, the law of large numbers says that the probability will converge as the number of trials uh, approaches infinity. And uh, this kind of hopes to like mitigate the effects of these errors, um, assuming that these errors were not present in every single trial. Because over multiple trials, you know, if I had a few where maybe I did kind of prefer to pick the ones in the middle, um, that large number of trials would still allow the relative probability to uh, converge to the desired probability. Uh, another thing that I wanted to say that I learned is that probability is just a guideline. It's just a prediction. It's not a guarantee at all. Um, it would not have been crazy if I had said, yeah, I drew 10 aces over 78 trials and I didn't draw six like I was supposed to. Um, there is no guarantee of what could happen. I could pick any card any amount of times over that range. Um, so it's important to know that probability is just a prediction. So yeah, thank you.